to be fair, I live in Vegas, which is a global climbing destination. It still doesn't have a real gym like that. So I guess I guess you're actually doing better than I am. And this is Climbing Gold. You just start with introducing yourself and brief bio. Yeah, so I'm Sierra Blair. I'm 30 years old, and I've been a professional climber, I would say, since 2008. So 16 years at this point. Uh, started climbing at eight years old, basically started competing immediately and, you know, did that, competed professionally, made the US team, was in World Cups. And then in the past couple of years, I've really changed my focus to outdoor climbing. And so that's kind of my new fun adventure is just getting on everything I can in Arizona and uh, seeing what's possible. Hmm. Yeah. So how did you get into climbing originally? It's actually kind of a funny story because it, there used to be um, an outdoor or not an outdoor climb, just a portable climbing wall at one of our outdoor malls in Arizona. So in summer, one time I saw it when I was eight and I asked my mom like if I could try it. She said, sure. And I loved it so much. I had asked her to take me back every single day which she did, you know, it's like 120 degrees some of these days, like just misery. Um, and I told her I wanted to become a professional climber. And she was like, that's so awesome. But I don't know if that's a thing. And then a couple of weeks after my, you know, dying in the heat at the mall experience, there was an article in the newspaper on a local youth climbing team and two of their athletes had just gone to nationals and just talking about that. And she said, hey, you know, do you want to sign up for the climbing team? And I was like, yeah, I don't want to sign up for the climbing team. And yeah, it just snowballed from there. That's that's awesome. That's uh, shockingly similar to how I got into climbing, just like going to a scrappy gym and then my parents reading about a gym opening in the newspaper and then going, you know, basically just being into it. Though I think um, if I was just doing my mental math, so that would have been early 2000s that you first went? Yeah, 2002 was uh, when I started climbing. Yeah, okay, because I started in uh, 95, 96-ish, and so it was just like a little bit more fringe, just a little more, you know, a little scrappy or like fewer gyms, but basically same kind of scene. Yeah, I was like right on the tail end of the climbing being super scrappy, and like I so I got to like have kind of like one foot in that, but one foot in people actually like knowing climbing was a thing. But something tells me if you've grown up in climbing gyms in Phoenix and, and Scottsdale, you're probably still experiencing pretty scrappy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, I would say we didn't get our first like big gym with, you know, like the 50 foot tall lead walls until 2022. So to be fair, I live in Vegas, which is a global climbing destination. It still doesn't have a real gym like that. So I guess I guess you're actually doing better than I am in, in that regard. Yeah. So can you describe the the scene in the climbing gym when you when you first got into it as an eight year old girl growing up in Scottsdale? What did it feel like to start climbing at the gym in 2002? Yeah, I mean, I loved it. I think a lot of things probably went over my head just because I was a kid. Um, I definitely didn't have any fear with climbing, which I just think I was too young to like conceptualize it. Everyone was always like, were you scared when you started? I was like, no, I didn't have anything else to think about. Um, but yeah, I started at an all bouldering gym, which I feel like is kind of unique. So I just went right into bouldering, which ultimately, I don't know, just kind of led me to be the climber I am, I think. And so have you always focused on bouldering? Yeah, you know, I did sport and speed up until I was 14. And then I made the decision that I just wanted to do bouldering and I wanted to compete professionally. So yeah, I made the jump a long time ago. But I noticed that you've done some of the more recent, like uh, the deep, deep water solo line comps and things like that. I mean, but that's kind of an extension of bouldering, I guess. Or are you just kind of opportunistic about climbing the things you can for fun opportunities? Yeah, I'll uh, do any like fun opportunity that I like. Um, but yeah, bouldering is just where my heart and soul is. Yeah, cool. Like since you grew up, you've just been straight bouldering. That's so cool. Yeah, I always just liked it more. It just seemed way more fun to me for whatever reason. So at what point did you get into competition climbing? Two weeks after I joined the climbing team, my uh, climbing coach was like, hey, there's a competition coming up next Friday. Do you want to compete in it? And prior to this, I'd done like gymnastics and dance and a little bit of cheer. And in my head, I was thinking like in gymnastics, there's no way you start gymnastics and two weeks later do a competition, right? And I said, sure. And um, I thought I was also a very confident eight year old. I was like, I'm going to win this competition. I'm so good at climbing. And I, it was like a small local competition um, just on like a Thursday night or something at the gym. I placed third out of three people. So quickly shattered my illusions of grandeur right away. But yeah, I just loved it. And so from there, you went into the youth comp scene and the, you know, talk me through your, your comp, your competitive journey. Yeah. So basically I did that first competition and I want to say September of 2002. 
And then in 2003, this is when USA Climbing was USCCA, I believe. And I, they I was a member. I was oh, I was in it. That was know. my last year of uh, youth uh, youth eligibility. Or maybe 2004 was, but basically I did my final years of youth competition mm-hmm. Yeah, with the USCCA. Um, so it was only sport and speed climbing at the time, though. And so did sport climbing that season. I think I might have done speed like just for fun or something. And then continued to do sport and speed. And then bouldering once they brought it in in 2007 for youth. And then when I was 14, I went to bouldering nationals, which would have been in like February of 2008. I trained really hard. I was feeling really strong. And I came down with like the worst case of the flu of all time. Like I just, I felt like I was going to die the entire weekend, uh, made it to finals, almost didn't compete because I was so sick. Like I asked the isolation monitors if like one of my parents could come in and like talk to me like that's how sick I felt I I was, you. <laughs> yeah I was like I just need, I like, need my mommy. Here. yeah um ended up competing it went fine I you know I did like well enough for as sick as I was but it just was not the competition I was envisioning and then it switched to sport climbing season and I went to like the first competition and I was like I don't like this I just want to boulder like I really want to try and make finals at um like the trade show comp like how they'd always have you know a pro comp at um, yeah, summer those. OR and so I was like, I'm not going to do sport climbing. I'm not going to do speed climbing. I'm just going to focus on training for this. And so that's what I did. And then I made finals and placed fifth and, you know, beat some like very strong climbers. And that kind of just kicked off me, like considering myself a pro, I guess. And yeah. And then from there, you know, I just kept doing like professional competitions as I could. Didn't I think I competed in youth bouldering for an the next two years or something. But like the second I was in um, youth A, I switched to just doing open. I was just done with youth. And were you still doing any other sports at that time? Were you still doing dance or cheer or gymnastics? No, I stopped all of those before I started climbing. So ever since I started climbing, it's just been 100% climbing. Yes, yeah, same here. Like once you're a climber, you're just all in. <laughs> like why do anything else? Yeah, I don't know how other people like can invest in other sports. Like I'll play badminton for fun or something. But yeah, I could never like practice, you know, there's just too much climbing to do. 